All right, y'all, what's up? Uh, today we're taking a look at scratching and scratch automation, recording scratch automation, specifically in Bitwig. This is a video for Dofo Show. Um, we've been debugging this together a little bit. Um, so check him out too. Once we get this good, it'll be all over, all over the internet. Um, so I'm gonna do a quick recording here and then we're gonna check it out. All right, so uh, as you can see, it recorded all right. Um, you can see everything coming through. Uh, there are three tracks there. Uh, the one is the play trigger for when you play the sample one's the crossfade and one's the scratching itself So now we're gonna play it back and talk about some of the some of the limitations and things and some of the wonky things in uh, in Bitwig. So here we're gonna play it back first uh, Up 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 I forgot When we're playing back we have to tell scratch track we're using automation So we click this button and it stops using the live input for scratching all right so astute observers will notice a couple things uh, I'm not a very good turntablist but nonetheless I can I can do a, a decent one click flare um, so in there, there should have been a couple places where moving the turntable, you heard da 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 da, and here I'm just hearing da, right? So that tells me that the crossfade, something's wrong with the crossfade, and we'll take a look at that in a minute. So um, before we get to that exact thing, let's just look at these waveforms. You can see they don't have a ton of points, right? So there you go. Look at this. The top one is scratches up here. Well, the top one. This is crossfade up here. Ignore that though. This is scratches and this is the crossfade down here. So here's a scratch captured by just one, two, three, four, five points, right? It's not bad. It'd be great if I had maybe twice that many points. Um, and then same thing with the crossfade. So over here, somewhere you can see, um, this is like scratching forward, scratching backwards. And then in between, we're, we're, the crossfade is going open, right? But I know that in some of these, I went you know, open twice, and it's just capturing once. Uh, you'll notice a few places here where it does, it gets all flat. Yeah, actually, no, I don't see that so much. So I don't, I don't think the data dropped out too much, um, but it's just not as granular as we'd like, and I don't really see any uh, errors in the data per se. So it's not bad, but again, it's not as quick as we'd like. Now the reason for this is a little technical, but um, Bitwig, unlike a lot of other DAWs, only respects automation if it comes on what's called the main message thread, which is slow, right? It's slower than other threads. So that's, that's no good. Um, Ableton, some of the others, they will take automation data coming uh, much quicker. So uh, I'll do a demo of this in the future using Ableton and probably Reaper and Logic and a few others at some point, and you know you'll see those have a lot more dots. Uh, nonetheless, Bitwig's a great, um, great DAW. So you could certainly go in here and like edit these. It's just going to be a little more work than on some other uh, platforms. So anyway, that's the test. It's looking pretty good. Um, Dofo show. I'm gonna toss it your way. I hope you can uh, maybe you can get better results than I can, but uh, I I got it working. I think as well as I can on Bitwig, um, but we'll keep hacking at it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> 